So just a little bit to start to set a bit of a flavour for who we are. So um, we started with a company called Reward Junkie and Creative HQ, which is part of the, which is the local Wellington um, uh, right. uh, incubator, right. which is obviously funded by Grow Wellington as well. Um, after a year and a bit's worth of product iteration, market validation, etc., we launched a new product called Collect um, just over a year ago. And so um, in that first year, um, we now have over 500 retailers in more than 40 countries um, using our platform to communicate to their customers and communicate to over half a million customers around the world. So scaling nicely so far. Um, so what is Collect though? So Collect does several things. And a lot of the stuff is actually grown through market validation and talking to our customers. So what we've created is a suite of online marketing tools um, that allows small businesses, small retailers and small hospitality venues um, to market to their customers through deep integrations that we do um, through some of the most nice smart tools out there. I'll take you through some of those shortly as well. Um, what we do is we consolidate all this data into one place to give our customers the best single view of a customer that they can possibly have because of the places we're pulling the data from. And then we then provide them with the tools to create highly targeted and really relevant marketing campaigns back to, at the moment, those half a million consumers that they've got on their books. Um, so here's some of the partners um, that we've got. And the thing that's beautiful about this for us as um, as you know and as any startup knows the toughest thing about starting a business is what's your distribution strategy right so we've been through several iterations of knocking on doors and working out how to get to market um, what we've actually discovered through doing all the integrations with these guys that we've integrated with um, guys like Ben who are a local um, tech success story in the cloud based point of sale market through Encounter um, Lightspeed, Rebel, um, all the way through to guys like MailChimp, Constant Compact, Contact, Campaign Monitor. These guys are all now our distribution channel. So every time we do an integration with one of these guys, they go, hey, you integrate our product with these other products and make the total package look so much better, therefore we want to sell your product because your product makes ours look better. So we're in the add-on stores of all of these guys. And so behind that we have not only um, them doing uh, pushing our content out to market. So we write blogs around what makes a successful retail campaign. They re-blog for us. Um, they do AdWords campaigns, direct marketing to their customers. Then they bring their salespeople on board. So their sales teams become our sales team as well. They go back to their existing customer bases. So guys like MailChimp, who have 7 million customers, go back to their customers and say, here's something that makes MailChimp even better. It takes this data from over here, so from point of sale, for example, and sees that Bill came into this store and bought this particular item, therefore we think that these things will uh, have a high propensity to be purchased by Bill. Or it might be Adiba's actually bought this stuff online and then gone in store and bought this stuff. It allows us to create this beautiful view of the customer that they can then use our tools to go, actually I know that Adiba likes these particular pants and this jacket's just come into stock, so I'm going to push out a campaign to everybody that fits into her profile we can then measure whether that campaign's been successful or not as well. So we can take, uh, we can measure return on investment from these campaigns. Um, just a bit about the team. So um, I'm the co-founder with my two young uh, tech co-founders who are, if anybody, people in this room know them, will swear to you that they're probably two of the brightest young tech innovators to ever come out of this country. Um, and that'll be proven um, so as we go forward. Our chairman's a guy called Peter Biggs. Um, Biggs is actually the chairman of Grow Wellington. Um, ex Clemenger man, um, Queen's Honours List, one of the greatest networkers New Zealand's ever seen. Um, Paula Jackson is our CMO. So Paula was the general manager of marketing at the start of Zero. So she was working with Rod on how do we get to this product to market, how do we actually build the brand strategy, etc. Um, Paul Williams is our CFO. So Paul was the GM of our uh, GM of finance at Zero in the early days as well. Um, well, she did a lot more than that. So effectively, there was a technology business. Paul did everything else, so not only was he doing finance, he was the, chief, uh, he was the company secretary, ran HR, um, and for his sins being an accountant and it being an accounting business, actually did support as well. So he ran the support desk. Um, then we have a guy in California, Kyle Enright, who's got a background similar to yours, Bill, so ex-Harvard, ex-Stanford uh, um, MBA. Um, Kyle uh, was part of the Google Wallet. So the question is, is it obvious to everyone in the audience exactly what they're doing? I still don't get what you're doing. 
I get the I'm not hearing awesome a couple. wild uproar of people saying, oh, yeah, yeah, it's easy, you get Bill. It. How can you, know you not them. get it? Okay. I'm being tough on you, I know. Yeah, it's but but it's, yeah. um, the point I'm making is not that you don't know what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> I know you know what you're doing, and you've been very successful doing it. I'm just, I'm struggling to try to help you figure out how to articulate it in a way that's easily absorbed the first time people hear it. And so, you know, I hear lots of entrepreneurs talking about these technologies to grab information about customers and then analyze that information so that you can then remarket to those customers and be more effective at both engagement and upsell. And I assume you're doing that's the sort of thing you're doing, right? Um, but you jump so deeply into our integration partners. You know, your second slide or third slide but is, it, is about our integration partners, and you're really way down into the weeds, and I'm still not there with you. But I think, okay, so I think, so take me up a notch and say, so today the state of the art for the best retailers around this is what? What do retailers do today before collect? Um, so today they're pretty much doing a lot of stuff manually. So what we do is we provide multi campaigns, offers, rewards, all through that single view of the customer. Okay. So at the moment people may run a campaign that's not segmented at all. So they'll have be a MailChimp customer and they'll just fire out a whole bunch of stuff hoping that it sticks to everyone. To all their customers. Okay. So what we allow them to but do is now to really right, right, so now what we do is we take now tell me a little bit about what you're doing to segment the customer. What data are you collecting and how are you collecting it to segment the customer so that you can do the tailored okay. campaigns? So we, capture, um, so we capture age, gender, um, and most importantly, products that they've purchased. So we okay. can tell when people are purchasing products at any particular time throughout the year, etc., and what the segments of those people are. We can pull stuff out of Facebook as well and see what people are actually liking, what to, to find a deeper pro uh, profile of those customers and then see this type of customer buys that type of product and then potentially buys this type of product next. Okay, so how do you know when a specific customer walks into a store and buys something in that store? How do you, because it's not easy to capture identity, right? Yep, so there's several ways of doing it. Um, the first and most simplest way for someone who is really untech savvy is they walk up to the point of sale, the person behind the counter says, are you on our rewards program? And they say their name. Okay. Now, that's in our database. So we're so deeply integrated, the point of sale goes off and looks in our database and says, here's Bill, and this is his profile. Here's the stuff he's got available. So there's that one. Um, there is... We is have that a, integrated with the point of sale absolutely. terminal? Correct. It is. Actually, so it you've got to do that within, integration. It appears within okay. the point of sale terminal. Okay. So there's no separate hardware or anything. It's actually integrated in there. So as soon as you fill out, in VIN, for example, the customer name, comes up with all the bill okay. records, that's in there, pops up with your profile and says, here's the stuff that's okay. available today. Okay. Um, so I get it, I get it. I mean, and, and I know we don't want to repeat the five-minute pitch. I'm sorry. <laughs> but all I'm, I'm pushing you on, and I think I, understand exact, I think I understand what you're doing. And my big question is, again, I think there are other people who are trying to help retailers with exactly this. And again, I didn't get enough of how you were, how you were different than those other guys that are trying to help re retailers target their customers better. So that, because you got, again, I think you got so into the weeds and it was so hard to understand what you were doing, we never even got to that part, I don't think. Maybe I, maybe I missed okay. it, okay? Yeah. But let, let me lean on. No, I mean, that's, that's <laughs> the thing. I just didn't get it. I just didn't get what you guys were doing from the start. Um, I love the fact that you started with giving yourself so much credibility by mentioning right. the amazing customers you have and all that, and, and that's a great for right. everyone. That was, if you have uh, credibility, you have right. paying customers, put it up there you know, from the start because that, wow, I want to hear more. Great. Uh, you guys are doing great, and then you have your awesome team, and you know, why are you going to succeed? You have all the right things. But if I don't even get what you're doing from the start, then I'm, you know, I just don't know where to place you. At some point, I thought you were a feature in Mailchimp, and you know, I didn't really understand how, how, where you fit in and what in the landscape. So uh, I think that was that was basically um, what I got stuck on. <laughs> Otherwise, I think everything else was, you know, you kind of had all the other parts of it very well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. So, yeah, again, my feedback is that's me. That felt, a lot of that felt like sort of the third pitch, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know, the deep integration discussions and all that. 
um, you know, I would, I would, you know, encourage you to sort of paint the picture more in, at the beginning in terms of here's the state of the art now, and here's what we enable them to do, and that's why, you know, ABC Retailer loves our solution, and it has resulted in 25% lift mm -hmm. in their sales per customers. Mm -hmm. So that kind of logic gets me going. Wow, now I get it, right? So that's kind of the way we reacted to it. Okay? <laughs> okay, yeah, okay, thanks. thanks. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Thanks a lot, Thank friend. You. Thanks. <laughs>